So who else is suspicious of El Elisaria? I don't think he comes off entirely as a genuine guy. He seems like he's got more skeletons in his closet than uh, than needed. It seems like that there's you know some suspicious aspects to his story that we haven't really gotten to. And I'm really curious to what exactly we're going to find out going down. And especially now, because we saw in the chapter that after, you know, the indication of, you know, quote unquote, sealed from Mersphobia, that the, this large, weird stone carving inside of Magia Dragon that has a, uh, a design for each of the five dragon gods carved into it. And seemingly when one of them is taken care of, the color from within the carving disappears, so it's just the outline of them. And when you look at it, it doesn't look... It doesn't look like it would just be a painting on a wall. It doesn't really look... Uh, I'm pulling it up right now. Um, it doesn't look entirely like you'd have like, uh, hey, someone someone came by here and, you know, just carved this onto the side of a wall. Uh, maybe someone painted it. You know, some aspect to it that just makes you go, oh, that looks cool. It, it, it really, in reality, makes you look at it and say, what is that for? And why I think that is not entirely just of, I'm suspicious of LF Seria, but it's also just, just looking at this thing. So just looking at the side of it, because when you, when you look at it from the front, it just looks like a big kind of like painting on the wall or some form of stone carving. But when you look at it from this uh, next panel, um, it looks, it's indented. It looks not like it was carved up and put on the wall. It looks almost like a door the way that it's intended it looks like a portal of some kind this weird gem in the middle and the fact that lf Saria seems to be going after the five dragon gods when none of them seem to really be up to no good seem to be causing any harm and he's just you know been trying to get them all killed for the last hundred years and we know that a hundred plus years ago you know, the something happened that that massacre that we saw in uh, the first chapter of Hundred Years Quest that LF Saria seemed very troubled by something, very, you know, very, very much rattled, and that eventually led to the guilds being made. So I, I think a lot of the positivity behind uh, LF Saria from that aspect might be throwing off the, uh, the trail for maybe some nefariousness. It, it just kind of makes me think that. He's, again, got his own scheme. Again, like I said, what are what are the five dragon gods doing that he wants them all dead? They're just existing. Even if some of them might be dangerous, they haven't done anything to really warrant, like, let's go kill them all. Obviously, so far we know Mer Mersphobia used to be bad, but clearly he hasn't been, and he's completely reformed. He's been getting... Uh, He's a lot better, even if the uh, fact the last hundred years that he's been sending people to kill uh, the five dragon gods, none of them have just like shown up at his doorstep and been like, all right, we got to I'm going to have to kill you because you guys won't stop bugging me. Like it, it hasn't happened. It hasn't nothing that seems to really kind of fit together with him. It seems very sketchy. And like I said, just just look at this. Uh, just look at this. I, I want to say art piece that he's got with inside of Magia Dragon looking just at it, the way that the stone is in the center specifically, the way that you see all those kind of the stone layout around it, the way it looks like it was put into the wall because of, you know, you look at that stone layer that makes the circle and there's a gap in between that and the rest of it. It looks like it was placed there. Now, could that be a portal or could that be a vault of some kind? We don't know. It's very, very, very curious to the way that it is. And I'm very much expecting that every time that we see a little bit of, you know, every time that uh, a dragon god goes down, we might see a little bit more of a suspicion towards LF Saria. Again, th there isn't enough concrete evidence to say that he's actually a bad guy. Uh, I think that he's just extremely suspicious. And there's a little bit of, um, there's, there's a little bit of foreshadowing, I think, is there a little bit of parallels and, uh, and a little bit of misdirection that are laid out, especially in this chapter, that I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video on of of it and um, uh, of it and Diablos, the way that their guilds were uh, represented in this chapter. So look forward to that. But other than that, uh, drop a comment below. How do you feel about Elisaria? Again, he just seems extremely suspicious. Uh, there's a, a weird tone to him that feels like he's hiding stuff. It, it, it feels like he's 
He because he hasn't given much of a reason really to take out the five dragon gods. Because why exactly are people going after them? Just that they're potentially a threat? It doesn't seem to be the case. Because the thing with Acnologia is Acnologia, people knew what he was up with. You know what he was uh, he was down for. He was up for destruction and and chaos. The fact that he was labeled as the Black Dragon of the Apocalypse. He had just kind of like randomly done stuff throughout the 400 years that he would just show up and and end end areas just wipe it out whereas the five dragon gods seem to kind of keep in their own we haven't heard anything other than that they keep in their own zone they they don't seem to really be enough of a problem that they're not publicly known it seems to be entirely in guiltina and they stay in their own territory so again tell me in the comments what you think about that but other than that uh, i'd really appreciate it if you would hit thumbs up the video befriend the like button and the subscribe button and check out my other videos but other than that i appreciate everyone who's already subscribed and I thank you all for listening bye